Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this awesome looking wire free peephole doorbell. This is modeled CP4 and this is done by a company called Easy Viz. And I have to mention that this bad boy will bring in 1080p actual screen with the 4.3 color touchscreen, motion detection with this camera and it has a doorbell with it and it will capture roughly about 166 wide angle and it comes built in with 4600 milliamps battery so you can recharge it. It does take a micro SD, be up to 256 gigabyte and on top of that this will be working on Wi-Fi so you can take an easy access using their app on your phone and it will decode H.265 which is awesome and I do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel click the click the subscribe button make sure you share this with your friends and family make sure you click the notification icon select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out on top of that if you have a question drop them at the bottom of the video we love to help you out ASAP and don't forget to click the click the like button it really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time and here are all the components that are part of the box. It comes with this quick start guide. You can see there is a little QR code that you can scan and that way you can get the actual app on your phone or tablet in this case. And once you open it, it looks like a brochure on how you will be able to process it. And you can open it. There is a lot of pages into it. It also comes with the service card. And now when you open it, it will tell you if you like it or if you need help where you need to contact them for help or if you like it where you're going to be able to leave some information or share it with your friends it also comes with another little paper about some more information when you're going to install it it depends which type of door you have or how thick your door is and this way you will be able to process it once we get to the installation section there is going to be a little part of the video that we're going to measure and we will talk about this little parts on which one you can use and you can see that these are all Philips so this way you can easily install it and we will show you what has to happen now the next thing that comes with this is inside of a little plastic we will take it out so there is a little cap and we will show you what this is for but here you go this is the part that you can recharge your little display and this is a micro usb to regular usb type a connection so this way you will be able to charge it quickly if you ever need it yes it doesn't take AAA batteries and here you go this is the actual camera this I'm gonna take this off is where you're going to be able to set up outside of your door so there is a camera and it shows that there's a little bell that you can press in this way it will ring and it will let you know somebody's outside but there's the camera this is a little sensor and also it is going to show you whoever it is with no light outside the infrared will kick in and this way you will be able to check everything out but i really like how this has been created you can see that there is a little indicator right over here that is going to be your mic and then there is sensors and the name is written really nicely now when you go on one side this is the speaker so they can hear you back and when you flip it in the back yes there's a little section for the 3m tape so once you hook it up it's just going to be hooked up and then the screws will go through this so this is how it will be connected but once you put this through the peephole this will be fat inside and yes it is really nicely done but this part we're not going to take it out right now but once we put it through you can see it that how this will be connected that is usb type c connection and it will be connected at the bottom of your display and the other side of it and that's how it's going to be done and once you put the plate at the back of your door there's going to be screws to go through and this is how they will be held together so nobody can take it from the other side and pull and that will be very straightforward on installation should be easy peasy to install as long as you have the peephole except that you do require to have a little drill in order to make that big of a hole and for this wire to be fed and also this could be set inside and the next part and the last part is the actual display i really like it because it has a little button and it does have their name and is really nicely written the screen is really big too and there is a little film on top i'm not going to take it off because it's a really good screen protector for it for now and 
the buttons there I really like that little bezel that they put through and that way you can see it that how it is set up now there is a little hook up in the back they did not take it off so that way it is really easy to put it together or you can take it out and we will talk about this in a couple of seconds but here it is this is how it looks and once you go on one side there is a little micro SD card slot so that way it will save whoever comes to the door so you have a footage when you're not there and here is the little hookup from the bottom of the actual camera that the wire goes through and then it's going to be hooked up in the bottom of this and then once you flip it on this side is the little connector on here and here so that way there when you hook it up at the back of your door that's how it's going to be set and there is a little micro USB connection so this is how you will be able to take it out and charge it and once you go to the front part there's nothing there on the top then in the back you have this little hook and that way the actual holder that you have at the back of your door this is where it's going to sit on there is a little sticker for it these are really mandatory things to always remember and here's the little holes for the speaker so that way you can hear it and I'm just looking around to see if I am missing anything and it looks like I have captured everything through it I really like how this has been set up and here is the holder for the back this is how it really looks so once you have it in the wall in the actual door and then once you push it down it just clicks and done that's how easy it is all right so enough said about it let's just try to see if we can turn this on so this is a test we're going to take it out and here's the USB type C and we will connect it in the bottom of the actual panel and the camera itself now these are not connected yet so you may see a few things on the desk so it has not been done yet and we're going to hold the button for a couple of seconds for it to come on and here you go so now it will ask me to connect it to my Wi-Fi and here you go it tells you to download the app on your phone and this way you can set it up but we're going to skip this part and here you go now it is set up so if you look see I can move it around and it shows stuff that is on my table which is really cool by the way so now when you're there you can there is a little button for ring and that's how it will sound so that way you can go ahead and answer it and this way you can see when you press the button it will show the other side and there's 55 percent of battery we didn't charge it yet and on top of that you have the little running man you have date and time set up right now which is accurate by the way because it takes it from your Wi-Fi and then the time itself and if you needed to go to settings you can press settings and all of the settings will show up now you can say monitoring so you can put it on user mode and the rest is over there so the sound alarm is on or off and you can put it on or you can turn it off it's on your hands on top of that you have the display and there you go so you can go to display and there's more information there so proximity screen is on which is not right now so there you go I turned it on the screen brightness you can take it up a little bit so this way it gets very bright and it is going up to 15 numbers so that is really cool so now it's very bright so you can see everything the screen timeout is there too so you can put it for 10 seconds or up to 30 seconds remember it eats more battery when you're processing it this way so you can put it less is better and the day and night recommended I'm just going to leave that alone the actual WDR I'm going to leave that also alone and distortion I'm going to leave those all alone now if I have to go to doorbell there should be different doorbells that you can select or you can go to third one So whichever one you like is good we're going to leave it on the default one for mean time and then we can get out now that's not the only thing you can also make the volume to go higher so that we can hear it if you really need it so i'm going to leave that on a maximum possible and then the led so that means is your light this part will be lit as you can see right now it is blue so that means it's going to stay blue so even at night time 
this will really lit which will look awesome outside so that is another plus sign now another part is the actual network so you can set it up in different wi-fi that you need and also you can make the wi-fi mode to go low powered mode right now that's what it's set up or you can bind it to an account so i'm going to leave this alone i will get out of it and then the date and time you can set it up or you can leave it so you can take it from network i'm going to do that and on top of that the battery itself you can see that it says how to charge it so this screen itself will really explain it to you how that is possible now if you do have a little micro sd card you can put it on the side and this will tell you how much of a space you're going to take and if you do have any kind of upgrade you want to go online and check this will also go to check it for you and it will tell you that there is going to be update is available right now yes so we will say to confirm now it's going to go through to Wi-Fi download it and it's going to just update it for us makes a lot of sense to do it this way so you do not have to go around and find certain different things to play with it so this will really help you out to set it up now we're going to wait for this to happen so not to bore you guys we will fast forward some of these scenes and there you go now it just totally updated and there is nothing that has been added as a new feature that i could say here you go but once you go to your settings your settings are all there and now you have a better version of the actual app that will tell you more information here so if you ever need something you can go through it so again there is an online upgrade and also it says local upgrade if you have and you want to change the language you can change it to different languages as it shows right now and this is how it will really work so that we can see everything now when you go back on the actual camera you can see that, that you have the actual button and it works perfectly all right enough said about it let's go through the installation and to show you how good this will really look so this is how it's done so number one Make sure that you have all your parts handy. And number two, make sure your door is there. Make sure that there is a peephole so you can take the peephole part out or then you have to drill one. And for that, you do require to have a drill. You want to make a hole. It should be around 16.5 millimeters and this way and a diameter. So that way you can make the hole. You have to measure your door, how thick your door is. And then that way, you know exactly which screw to use. So that way you can put it through. And we're going to use the one that is about 35 to 60 millimeter then you have to remove the 3m tape from the back of it and then put some little paper in the back so this way you can make the wires go straight don't damage that wire the usb type c connection so make sure that the doorbell is in the bottom part and then push it through the other side and make that wire go through the hole so or in the bottom and then this way it will sit properly and then once the screw is there you can process it to go down a little on top and this is how you're going to be able to screw it so it sits tight. So using a Phillips screwdriver, you can process that part. And then once that part is done, and also where you're going to hook up the wire. So I know that on the video, it shows that it goes right to the back, but the one we have is going to hook up in the bottom. And then just flip it and go from the top, and you have to process it to come down a little, and that's it, done. And now you can use your doorbell. So make sure you turn it on by pressing the button in the front for a couple of seconds, and voila, it's going to work on the other side. All right, so now it's time to add the camera on our phone. Now for that, you need to get the EasyViz app, which I have right over here, since I already have a security camera set up. So now I'm going to add another device to this. And this way you can see that I have a security camera set up. Now we need to add another device on this. For that, we need to go to back. In here, you can go on the plus sign on the top. Right over here, we have to press this plus sign. And here it goes, it says add a device. We will select that and then from here we have to select the which camera you're going to use which is right over here it's called door viewer we will select that and now it says to scan the barcode so for this we will press here go to settings and then we will go to firmware in here it will tell you your barcode so for that we will grab our phone go in front of it and automatically it finds it for you and did you see it says it that it is found now on the bottom it says to add it so we'll click add it takes a couple of seconds and there you go now i can see my camera now you can see that there are certain things around it going down it says that the audio is off you can turn that on and then going down your time zone is there 
and the rest is all right over here and then you can click on next in this case i am just going to modify and add a new password once you enter your password there will be a little button on the bottom that says have modified and click OK. You will get this little pop up, say OK. And now it's processing it. So we just wait. And now it's done. So you can see the top and then at the bottom, you have a little button that says, there you go. And now it says backyard. What name should I give this one? It says use the name. So we will select and we can use the name as door cam and then say save. And now it's going to be added. Yes, you will get promotional things. I'm just going to say no. And now I can click on it and it takes a couple of seconds and it should be able to view the live camera right now on what we are looking at. So the best part about this is when you are going to use, you do not have to have this screen on when you are not locally there. So you can turn this on and you can talk. It takes a couple of seconds. And that way, whoever's on that side can hear you. And easily both sides will work and you do not have to worry about using any kind of that much battery when you are processing it here. But this is how easy it is to add it and use it on your phone wherever you are. All the links will be available at the bottom of the video except that this was our take. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the, click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website which is xtext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places and thank you.